Hey everyone, and welcome to my video in the XPR Starter Series. These short videos are designed for anyone taking their first steps with the XPR Network, MetalX app, and the WebAuth wallet. So, if you're already an XPR Pro, this might not be for you. But if you're just starting out in this amazing ecosystem, you're in the right place. Alright? Let's jump in. In today's video, I'll walk you through each step of the Know Your Customer, or KYC, process using the WebAuth wallet and the identity verification system provided by Metallicus. But first, why do we even need identification? It's all about legal compliance. Metallicus uses the KYC process to meet international regulations for anti-money laundering, also known as AML, and to ensure proper identity verification. The goal is simple. To make sure you're only interacting with real, verified people, not bots or bad actors. Once you're verified, you'll gain access to all the on-chain applications developed by Metallicus. And your on-chain address? It becomes eligible for the official verified checkmark. You can start the KYC process either in your browser or at identity.metallicus.com, or directly through the WebAuth wallet. The only difference is how you begin, the actual identification process is exactly the same. Alright, let's get started. When we select the XPR network under Tokens and then tap on Receive, we see the address where we can receive XPR tokens. There are three networks available here. XPR Network, Ethereum, and Binance. Your XPR network address is simply your username, easy and straightforward. But if we now switch to Ethereum, we don't immediately see our Ethereum address. Instead, we get a message saying this feature is only available to users who've completed KYC verification. So, let's click Start Process. That takes us to the Metallicus Identity website I mentioned earlier. First, we allow the website to verify our account. Then, we sign a message and confirm it with our PIN. This proves that we own the address and are authorizing the verification. The first step is to enter our residential address. There's also an optional setting here. Display full legal name on blockchain. If you turn this on, your full legal name, exactly as shown on your ID, will be stored on chain. You'll get a green checkmark next to your name in the WebAuth wallet and in the XPR Explorer. Just note, the green checkmark is purely visual. It doesn't affect your wallet's functionality or permissions in any way. We don't need this feature for now, so we hit continue. Now we see a QR code. This is the start of the actual identity verification. We scan this code using our smartphone camera. Let's walk through the steps of the identification process on your smartphone. First up, ID verification. Read and accept the consent form for collecting and using biometric data for identity verification. Choose the type of document you want to scan, driver's license, ID card, resident card, passport, or visa. Have your document ready. Ready to scan? Allow the website to access your camera. Here we go. The document is being scanned and detected. Now the backside. Scanning and detecting again. Hang on a second. Review the extracted information. Now take a selfie using your smartphone camera. Your selfie will be matched with the photo from your ID. Awesome, we've got a match. That completes the verification process. Let's continue in the browser. All right, there are just a few more questions we need to answer. These are not required to receive crypto via Ethereum or Binance. But without answering them, you won't be able to use features like loans or fiat deposits. So for our account, BlocksBob, we're going to fill them out. First, we enter our tax ID. Then, specify the purpose of the account. Expected monthly transaction volume. Main source of funds. Your occupation. Are you a publicly exposed person? Are you acting on your own behalf? We confirm all our entries by clicking Submit. 
and the process is complete. The verification is now under manual review, so we just have to wait. Let's go back to our wallet profile. What we're waiting for next is the black KYC checkmark next to our profile picture. After a few minutes, in our case, it was pretty quick, we refresh the page. And there it is, the black checkmark. Our profile is now fully KYC verified. Let's go back to our XPR receive button. We switch over to Ethereum, enter our Windows Hello PIN, and now we have both an Ethereum and a Binance address. Addresses we can use to receive supported crypto tokens from the XPR network directly into our WebAuth wallet on the XPR blockchain. Important. Make sure to check beforehand which coins are supported at that address. Otherwise, you could lose your coins permanently. If, for example, you send an unsupported token to that address, it won't be recognized, and there's no way to recover it. Those coins would be lost, forever. The XPR network does not support every token standard. So before sending anything to your WebAuth wallet, go to the market menu and look up the supported coins. There you'll find the correct receiving address and network for each one. For example, Bitcoin. Ripple. Ethereum. I just want to show you these three addresses as examples, but keep in mind, there are plenty of other tokens you can send and receive using the WebAuth wallet. Let me give you a quick overview of wrapped tokens on the XPR network. What is a wrapped asset or token? A wrapped token is an asset that lives on a different blockchain, but still reflects the exact value of the original asset. It's either backed one, one by the real thing, or linked through a smart contract. What's the benefit of a token wrapped on the XPR network? When a token is wrapped for XPR network, it gains all the advantages of the native blockchain. That means instant transaction times, no gas fees, and more. For example, sending one Satoshi of regular BTC might not even be possible due to fees. But with XBTC on the XPR network, it's fast and easy. Same goes for other wrapped tokens on the XPR blockchain. Alright, that's it for today's video. Hope you found it helpful, and don't forget to follow us on X. See you next time. This was your XPR block producer, Bloxbrod.